Home Link 1-6, Volume Measurement. Volume is the measure of the amount of space a three-dimensional object takes up. When we talk about volume of a container, for example, a vase, a can, a glass, a bowl, a bucket, a box, we are talking about the amount the container can hold, so how much goes inside of the container. Only three-dimensional objects take up space and have volume. Two-dimensional shapes have other attributes that we can measure, such as length and area, but two-dimensional shapes do not have volume. Number one says, circle each item below that has volume. So, first one says, a wiggly line drawn on a paper. If I have a wiggly line, can it hold anything? No. So let's cross it off. A bar of soap. Does a bar of soap take up space? Yes. What about a circle? Does the circle I just draw, drew have volume? No, it can't hold anything. What about a baseball? A baseball has volume. An empty crayon box. So think of a crayon box. Can you stick things in there? Yes. The next one says a drawing of a tree. Now I'm starting here where I drew the star. A blue rectangle, a bucket, a swimming pool, a drawing of a flower pot. Keyword there, drawing of a flower pot. A cereal box, the kitchen sink. Next, two says, choose one of the items you circled. Describe one way you can measure the volume of that item. Be sure to tell what unit you would use and why. So if I chose the empty crayon box, I might measure, so I'm going to write crayon box, so crayon box, and I would measure using crayons, and I would see how many crayons fit in the box, and that would be, I would see how many crayons fit, so my unit would be crayons, and the why is because I want to know how many crayons I could fit in a box so my crayons don't take as much space up in my desk or they're not rolling around everywhere. For your practice, you are doing order of operations. Remember our order of operations little trick? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, adding, subtracting. So 3, I see I have parentheses, so 30 plus 40 is 70, and then times 5. 0 times 5 is 0, 5 times 7 is 35. So my answer is 30, 350. 4 changes it. You move the parenthesis over, things you've been doing in your math boxes, and so now it's 40 times 5. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 4 is 20, and then I need to add 30 to it. So my answer is 230. Do you see how your answer changes when you move parentheses? Do 5 and 6 on your own.